Good morning guys and another warm welcome to Alan's allotment. Today is Monday the 28th of December 2020. I hope everybody's staying safe and being practical and keeping themselves out of harm's way and I hope everyone had a good Christmas at as good as they could have had. Uh, good news about the new vaccine we're just waiting for the approval on that and hopefully that's going to speed things along for everybody to get vaccinated so here's to 2021 being a positive year. If it's your first time here, please think about it in the subscribe button and then the little bell icon on the right. And that'll alert you every time I put up a new video. I'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you yet again to all my subscribers. We're now up to about 135. It's just went silly in the last couple of weeks uh, and, and I'm pleased about that, by the way. Um, we're picking up subscribers almost every day now. And I really do appreciate all you guys uh, taking the time to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to Alan's Allotment. Um, it is quite obvious that a lot of the uh, subscriptions are coming along now as a result of the pigeon videos. And there will be more of those to follow, guys. But of course, I do need to also cater for my loyal uh, subscribers around the garden area. And perhaps you might even enjoy that, um, watching me go along as the year progresses, trying to grow some vegetables. And we might have one or two little uh, projects coming along as well. Right guys, so it's been a relatively quiet Christmas for us. Um, and that's just the way, well, I personally prefer it anyways. In the background here you can see I have one of my Christmas presents uh, from the grandchildren of Curtis and Leo. And they decided this is what they wanted to give me for Christmas this year. So I'll just give you a quick look at that. Sorry about the movement on the camera. But they uh, decided they would have this made for me. And basically it says, Welcome to Granda Allen's Allotment. So that takes pride of place now, here, behind me, in the shed. As you can see. So we've got that hanging up now, guys. So that's a lovely little present. Very, very thoughtful. Really, really uh, tickled pink with that I was when I opened that. Um, so, yeah. We've basically, yesterday, all I done was sit and watch YouTube videos. I actually just chilled out for probably the first time in, I don't know how long, guys. I came up here on Boxing Day and I did do a little tiny clip, but it was way too dark, miserable, damp, wet to do anything at all. I just came up and had a look over at the orange tree and the lemon tree to see if they were still all right. A little look around the pigeons and the chickens and then I basically went home. Uh, we didn't do anything. Yesterday was a miserable day yet again. It was pouring down, hail storms. I didn't know what to do. Gale force winds. And so I decided the best thing for me was to curl up on the sofa in front of the laptop and sicken myself with YouTube videos. Now, I did watch back some of my very early videos. Uh, and I was quite tickled. And when I look at the footage on those videos and I, I didn't know how to video edit at that time I still don't I'm still learning uh, but I didn't know how to video edit at that time and everything was done on the mobile camera and the content was uh, pretty horrendous however what was really interesting was some of the earlier videos of course because of the way they were recorded only had 20 views and 30 views and possibly 40 views but what is interesting, guys, for those that are here for the allotment side of things, uh, I would appreciate you just looking back on some of the older videos to see how much better things have hopefully got for you. But more importantly, to see what I started with and how you can turn something that was such a mess into what I've got now, guys. Um, even if you only watch one or two, that would be uh, good. And it'll just give you an idea of the amount of work I had to put in over there to get that garden to the state it's in currently. So uh, I'm just here having a cup of coffee. Uh, we took the car for a run this morning just to keep it uh, lubricated and keep everything mechanically sound on it. Uh, we took it for a 20 mile run just to run it in and give the battery a bit of a charge and one thing and another. It struggled a little bit to start this morning just because of the cold weather. So I took that for a little run, so it's actually 10 to 11 in the morning at the moment. And I wasn't going to come up today, I was going to have another lazy day on YouTube. 
but I decided because the sun was shining, it's absolutely Baltic by the way, hence the reason why I'm wrapped up. But I decided while the sun was shining, what I'll try and do, if I got nothing else done, was come up and go over into the garden area there and get on the back side of that fence where I want to actually cover it with the green screen meshing and cut down the bramble that's down behind there. Uh, because it's pretty dormant at the moment, but it won't be too long until it bursts into life again. So even if I get nothing else done, I want to get round the back of there and at least get that bramble cut. It'll depend on how long the battery lasts, of course, because it's only a battery uh, hedge trimmer that I have. So um, I'm hoping it'll last out to at least get down that back side of the fence and then we can take the battery down and give it a charge and maybe come up and do another bit another day. So that's my intentions. But the first thing I'm doing is having a cup of coffee and a sandwich. Uh, because one, I'm hungry, and two, it's absolutely freezing. I'm trying to warm up. So um, if we do get anything done, guys, I'll pop back and we'll give you a quick look around. I just want to say a Merry Christmas to everybody and a Happy New Year. Hope you had a good time. And... Uh, Stay tuned, just to let you know I'm still here. Thanks for watching, guys. Right, guys, as you can see, we've had a heck of a frost last night. Everything's still, even at this time, with the sun on it, frozen solid. And, uh, yeah, you can see just how cold it's been last night. I mean, it's been like this for quite a while now. We've got frost all over the place. But my aim today is to try and get round the back of here, round the back of the side of this fence. There's a big six, probably 600 foot drop over the back side of there, so I'll need to be careful. But I need to try and get round the back of here and get into this and get all this bramble cut back. Now we did do this last year and hopefully it didn't get itself too established, but you can see it is hardy and it's hanging on, so we need to just try and get in the back of there and see how much of this we can get cut down. I'll give you a little look when we get sorted, guys, if we get sorted. See you later. Right, guys, I'm on the back side of this fence, and as you can see, it's quite a jungle. It's slow going. This side can wait. Uh, I'm not too fussed about this. I just need to be able to get that fence done on the other side. So, as you can see, this was exactly the same. It was up here somewhere. And we've basically cut all this back now. And I can actually walk along here. It's not perfect. But it's a good start. And we've got all of this cut down. Um, we can't really do anything about this because there's a rump of chicken wire hanging off this. And these won't push back a bit. Um, I'm not sure whether I want to waste any wood doing that. But we might, just to give myself a bit of a path, might come here with a pair of wire snippers and cut this bit off here. This bit of fencing, a pair of bulk cutters or something when I find them. Uh, but as you can see, we're at least getting it away from, we're at least getting it away from the uh, fence, which is what we want to to cover. And uh, yeah, it, it just keeps it at bay, guys. Um, the new growth is only spindly, and as long as we keep on top of it each year, that's fine. But as you can see, just over here. I've only got this little space here and then that's a six or six or seven hundred foot drop down there so I'm having to be very very careful this could subside at any time anyways the uh, model of the story is we got all the way to the end almost and there's a little bit up the top end there which gets narrower and narrower uh, and as I say I might just have to get some sticks in the back of it to, to push this fencing back but as you can see here guys that's a drop all the way down. We're very, very close to the edge. This tree here, it looks further away than it is. It's literally five, six feet away, and then it's a drop. I need to get myself away from behind here, guys. Get this cut down, and I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be able to do this because this quarry keeps subsiding bit by bit. Um, but if we can get a substantial barrier on this fence here, sorry about the light, across this fence, uh, we might have to come in here while we still can get in here and maybe just put a, a brace or two in here on this post to push the fence back up again. Most of it's okay, just an odd one leaning out. 
Uh, sorry about the sun. There's an odd one or two just leaning forward, just a couple of cross braces in there as well, while we still can. And if we get this fence here, then messed off relatively, uh, relatively good, we'll hopefully be able to hold back the bramble <coughs> over the next years. The battery's exhausted on this now, so that's as much as we can do up here for today. So I'm going to have to uh, take this down and get it charged. Right guys, that was a bit hairy. Uh, never mind. We've got it uh, more or less cut down now. Just need to get the battery charged up and still a bit more to do. Also on the uh, path coming up to the allotment, um, there's some trees that's been planted down on one side of the thing and there are some brambles as well, which are now starting to branch over onto the what well, bit of a road I have got. Um, and they're catching on the car, so I'm going to have to get the hedge trimmer again and I'm going to have to go all the way down that path and trim all those back as well. Um, it's going to be slow going because I only have the one battery for the uh, trimmer uh, and it doesn't last very long. Now, I'm surprised I got as much done as I did today actually because I charged that battery about three months ago and it's just uh, sat in the shed. And I actually didn't think it was going to fire it up at all to be honest with you, but... Uh, to get as much done as I did, I'm quite amazed actually, uh, so that's a bonus, uh, but sod's low, we were left with about a foot to go on that back side of the fence uh, of getting it cleared and uh, it didn't last out, completely give up the ghost, so it is what it is, it's really 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 cold but the sun is shining and there isn't much wind today which is a bonus, I'm just having this cup of coffee because I'm absolutely frost through to the bone. But I'm not sure whether I want, I want to do some more, I don't know what, but I want to do a little bit more, but you know what, Rome wasn't built in a day and I should be taking it a bit easier over the Christmas period. So I'm thinking I'm just going to have this cup of coffee and I'm going to make my way down home guys, so sorry there's not a great deal of content, just ticking over and uh, just to say basically uh, another Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year to you all. Wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. And we'll see you again in the next video guys. Thanks for watching.